the PDP has closed its case at the presidential election petition court on a day the party presented its 27th witness after completing the three weeks allotted to it by the court as contained in its pre-hearing report. The party had at the beginning promised to call about a hundred witnesses. Enahoro Eba, a self-acclaimed member of the obedient movement, said he obtained the documents from the Chicago State University. Another document is the National Youth Service Corps Discharge Certificate, which reads as Tinubu Bola Adekunle, and the Chicago State University Certificate belonging to a Bola A Tinubu. The witness also tendered a copy of the United States Court judgment on alleged forfeiture of assets belonging to Mr. Tinubu and a printout of a Guinean passport with the name Tinubu Bola Ahmed. Jesus. During cross-examination, the witness admitted that he had previously instituted a criminal complaint at an Abuja Chief Magistrate Court mm. over Bola Tinubu's qualification, a case the Chief Magistrate chose not to sit on. And on the forfeiture of assets, the witness also conceded that there was no plea taken and no trial or conviction reached by the U.S. Court against Tinubu. Enahoro Eba said he was not aware if Bola Tinubu denounced the Guinean passport purportedly issued to him by a former president of the country, Alpha Conde. Chris Uche, lawyer of Atiko Worker, consequently closed his case while lawyers of INEC, Bola Tinubu, and APC will open their defense on 3rd of July. We fielded our last witness today, who, as you can see, tendered very, very critical documents pertaining to the qualifications of the second respondent. Uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the academic qualifications including the NYSE certificate and then uh, the conviction, the criminal uh, forfeiture judgment uh, from uh, the US as well as the Guinean passport. So all these documents were admitted by the court. The Liberal Party has also closed its case after calling 13 witnesses. Um, certainly they don't expect me to be pleased with um, the conduct of INEC, which is now in the public domain. But that notwithstanding, we still um, made impressive presentation. There is one fact that can never be denied, that can never, ever, ever be denied, and that is to say, we tendered blood ballot papers. Jesus. 18,088. This comes after INEC, Tinubu, and APC opposed the moves by the Labour Party for extended time for the hearing of their petition, insisting based on the pre-hearing report, the case of the Labour Party too is expected to close along with that of the PDP. The bimodal voter accreditation system, BVAS, devices, and the results viewing portal, or IREV, seemed like the holy grail of the presidential election and their usage formed the major basis for challenging Bola Tinubu's victory at the polls by other political parties. A witness of the People's Democratic Party, Hitler Nuala, who is also a digital forensic analyst that inspected 110 BVAS devices used during the presidential election in the FCT, insists that all the machines he inspected had their data deliberately deleted. Jesus. The witness said during a cross-examination by INEC lawyer mm. Abubakar Mahmoud that it's unnecessary to delete those beavers' data because the FCT doesn't hold governorship elections. What INEC's lawyer described as false, the claims by the witness, stating that the 110 beavers' devices examined represents just 3.4% of the total number of such devices deployed to the 2,000 822 polling units in the FCT. Mahmoud also brought four the devices for the witness to further verify his claims in the courtroom. But the witness declined, stating it will amount to tampering with the evidence. The PDP also tendered polling unit results of four states, Ogun, Ondo, Jigawa and Rivers, as the party looks to close its case by Friday, June 23. As part of our strategy today, we call the very vital witness a digital forensic expert. I will remember that this is the very first time we are having a technology-driven presidential elections in Nigeria. So the evidence that this witness has proffered today 
a witness who examined the beaver's machines used is very, very vital. So we are happy this witness has testified today. Tomorrow we'll bring our remaining witnesses and we'll close our case. For the Labour Party, two witnesses were called. They are Emmanuel Edet, Head of Legal Services at the National Information Technology Development Agency, NIDA, and Yunusa Tanko, a Labour Party official. The Labour Party hearing began with the cross-examination of an expert witness, Chubuke Uguoke, a cyber security expert who is a carryover witness from Wednesday. During cross-examination, the witness said ISO security certification was compulsory for INEC to deploy any application such as the IREV used during the presidential polls. But on the flip side, Emmanuel Edet of NIDA said there is no aspect of the NIDA law that demands certification for cyber security standards. He also added that NIDA has no powers to interfere with the functions of INEC. Then... The Labour Party then brought loads of documents that were tendered, which will form the basis of cross-examination of Unisa Tanko at the resumed hearing on Friday.